Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. Can you see the lake down there? Actually it's a reservoir. Beautiful blue water and beautiful blue skies today, see? Matching. Um, I have a couple words about the different forms of tantric. Um, so, and these are just my own notions about it because there's been quite a bit written and I've blogged it quite a few times in the past. And uh, to me, the, the aim of, of the ascension process is, is uh, sacred sexuality. And uh, in, in the end, it's going to be combining masculine and feminine qualities, each of us, within our own, within our own souls. But <laughs> I have a visitor. Who are you? <laughs> Uh, don't be scared. You're okay. I think it's a squirrel. <laughs> Wait, hold on just a minute. Well, there he is. Hey, dude. Hello. Wow, look at you. Uh. Uh. Come on back, why don't you? There you go. And he's off. Uh. I'd like to say he's sore about that motorboat way down there, but I think he's really upset that I'm here, but I'll only be here for a minute. So Lisa Renee talks about um, Hieros Gamos and Christos Sophia, as a, I think that's a, a symbol of what we're about to become, or what we are and are about to remember. <laughs> and so. Uh, in my mind, Christos is like the male principle of Christ consciousness, and just in my mind, Sophia is like the prism, the the um, the principle of of divine wisdom and uh, divine nurturing, something like that, M like Mary Magdalene, that energy. And so um, I'm looking forward to that. And so in the process, I'm sorting through various energies that persist in the world today. And uh, just to let you know, my background in, 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 uh, in Tantra is Kundalini, is Kundalini Yoga. It's called uh, 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 3HO Kundalini Yoga. It's called um, white, white Tantric. And that's because it involves a man and a woman sitting, sitting opposite each other and then doing various uh, um, divine uh, chants to God and, and like that, and very often looking in each other's eyes and uh, sometimes with, um, with special yoga poses or, or that are to clear the liver, for instance, or like that, or for, for balance or whatever. And so uh, it can be very demanding kind of, of uh, tantric. Uh, it's not a sexual tantric, but it does make use of the polarity of energy between the feminine and the masculine. So, so what that does is it strengthens. In all the people I've seen who've done white tantric yoga, uh, at least once, it, 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 it creates in them the understanding that what they're looking at in the opposite sex is God, God himself or God herself looking back at them. And so in their married life, they become very reverent towards each other, very respectful. And, um, and it also involves a purification of our own souls so that in a married life, which 3HO espouses, the, um, the, the, the souls of each person can persist in, 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 in raising 
each other into greater and greater God consciousness. Now that's 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 why tantric. That's the one that I'm really familiar with. And I thought I'd just um, glancingly mention two other forms of tantric. Um, one is red tantric, and that is done um, between men and women uh, in a sexual way. And so uh, I know some people who do white tantric also do red tantric as married couples. Uh, I've never done it, and so um, I can't speak too much to it, but I can say that for those groups that practice red tantric, which I think there are some uh, red robes and others that practice red tantric, although I'm not sure about the red robes, that's just, you know, that's just what I heard. Um, these are monks and nuns who practice red tantric together, and in, 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 in that instance, in the instance of uh, nuns, married couple relationships, I think Red Tantric has great drawbacks. I think that it's very difficult to to control all of the um, uh, negative uh, uh, emotions that can be attached to the sexual desire uh, in terms of, say, jealousy and um, um, uh, possessiveness and um, a ratcheting up of the sexual of the sexual drive over and above what it should be in relation to the total chakric system, and uh, and the like. You know, I I just think that it it places undue emphasis on um, on the desire elemental, which you can read about it in another one of my blogs. And so you'll find that the holy people of, of India almost invariably say that red tantra is just too risky of a practice to try out, even though it's, you know, it's the, the desire elemental within us that guards and, and uh, our, our lower energy and keeps us on earth that desire elemental <laughs> that desire elemental uh, is very attracted to this notion so so i would say beware red tantric and don't do that all right now then there's there's black tantric all right so so black tantric is is when we mind control someone else uh, a sleeping person or a person who can be mind controlled in the waking state when we mind control them into an act of sex. This is an act that's attractive to spiritual adepts. Uh, the problem is that the use of mind control invariably brings in the demon realm, not to the advantage of any human person. It's never to the advantage of a human person to bring in the demon realm. So, so the thing about spiritual adepts is they have a lot of powers, you know. I've gone into it in a number of blogs, and, um, and it's very tempting for them to use these power, powers as power over people in the world, especially, especially men have this, this, like, predilection and this thing to fight against, this power over thing, this patriarchal domination, 007, kill the woman, you know, and instead of loving her as you have sex, you know. Um, so so there in, in the big cities right now, there's quite a bit of black tantric going on. And there's quite a bit of clearing, too. There are great focus of clearing. I heard on the 33rd parallel, Los Angeles apparently might be on the 33rd pa parallel, which would account for quite a bit of what's going on over there right now. <laughs> and Iraq, also, according to one map. So, so anyway, um, you know, the thing to do about mind control is to realize that it's not any person that's doing it and to know that that spiritual adepts are targeted to be a flow through channels for for mind control by the demon realm so what you have is demon realm spiritual adept and then some person that's being demonized through black tantra some woman okay so so the energy of the demon realm flowing through as my in the aspect of mind control flowing through the spiritual ab 
adept is demonizing them. And the person that is the object, that is like the um, receptor of this, of this black magic energy, the woman is being bound down to the hell realms by the experience that she's having. So the thing to do if you're the, if you're the spiritual adept is to align your will with the will of God. And then you will find out all the things, the important things for your spiritual growth. And the thing to do at this moment in time in the big cities for the woman who, the women who are targeted for this, um, this uh, black tantra is to tell all those demons that are bound to you that they are free to go because they don't want to be uh, tied down to you, okay? And then turn, turn to uh, a church, turn to... Uh, a large organization full of, of devout people and that has that, that um, guardianship of the, of, the, um, of the angelic realm around it. Turn to a church and, and, and do your best to bring in the angels to your own home as guardians, okay? So, so that's, that's it. All this stuff is clearing, not to worry too much. Everything is clearing out, and the relationship that is going to exist on New Earth, as the, as the dust clears, the relationship that's going to exist on New Earth between men and women will be a wonderful thing, a wonderful experience. Children will be greatly nurtured and by it by seeing these role models that are male and female and men and women will have very happy marriages at that point so something wonderful to look forward to and a few um a few caveats to observe in the meantime <laughs> y'all take care find the blessed path find the high path find the love and the light god bless you